Hi, my name is Corey, and together with my colleagues Nock Doe and Ellie Wenger, we will be demonstrating how to measure extracellular vesicles using Spectrodyne's revolutionary ARC particle analyzer. We'll show you how easy it is to prepare and measure the samples, and we'll see the kinds of unique insights the ARC can provide to help your science. Let's get started. This sample contains extracellular vesicles that were produced using a bioreactor method and isolated by ultracentrifugation and size exclusion chromatography. We'll use the ARC to measure the size, concentration, and phenotype of these vesicles by staining them with a PE-labeled anti-CD81 antibody. To prepare the sample for measurement, she will add the stain to a small aliquot of the sample, shooting for a stain molecule-to-particle ratio of about 1,000, and a particle concentration around 1 times 10 to the 10 particles per milliliter. Then, we let the stain and sample incubate in the dark for 30 minutes at room temperature. The ARC uses microfluidic cartridges for sample analysis that require just 3 microliters of the sample for measurement. So, she will pipette three microliters into the cartridge, load it into the instrument, and get the instrument ready for measurement. A key feature of the ARC is that the optics are aligned automatically before every measurement, ensuring repeatable results from run to run. After priming the cartridge for measurement, the data starts coming in in 10-second acquisitions. Each downward spike in the blue trace is the detection of a single particle by MRPS. You can see some of these particles also generate a simultaneous signal in the fluorescence channel. These are the particles of interest. The raw data is processed as it comes in, and we can look at the results in a few different ways right here in real time. This plot shows the size distribution of all particles and fluorescent subpopulations in the sample. These scatter plots show the brightness of each particle in each channel as a function of its size. The Quadrant Analysis tool allows us to dynamically isolate and measure the concentration of particles in a region of interest for each channel. These plots show that the EVs are showing up primarily in the PE channel, as expected. Using the Quadrant tool, we can see that 19.8% of all particles in the sample express CD81. We'll combine all of the data into a single file for more detailed downstream analysis in our data viewer software. And we're ready to measure our next sample. That's all there is to it. Today, we've showed you the simplicity and ease of using the ARC particle analyzer to measure the size, concentration, and phenotype of extracellular vesicles. Reach out to our sales team to learn more.